Well, CM Punk, he was actually interested in returning to WWE, and in this video, I got all the details because Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select has just dropped a bomb days after CM Punk's AEW release due to the physical altercation at All In. And also in this video, I'm going to share to you when WB is expected to make its return to Saudi Arabia for Crown Jewel. I got the date and location for that. So CM Punk was released by AW on Saturday following the physical altercation with Jungle Boy Jack Perry at All In. And since then, there's been some fans speculating whether or not he might actually be willing to go back to WB despite the fact that Everything that has gone on in the last decade or so, as long as he can when he's free and clear, because we just simply don't know whether or not there's a non-compete clause and place as part of his termination with AEW. Now, if you recall, CM Punk went to WB Raw earlier this year, where he went and visited with friends, cleared there with The Miz, and even talked to Triple H before Vinnie Mac got wind of it and was asked to leave. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select reports that people close to Punk say the idea of him working with WWE again was on the table from his end earlier this year, 2023. After being sidelined following surgery, then and the brawl with the Elite at last year's All Out pay-per-view event, Punk returned to AEW television in June 2023 as he had remained under contract with AEW. Now, according to FIFA Select, Punk was open to leaving AEW in December of 2022, so much so that he encouraged the idea in order to make a WB return. Now, keep in mind, this is people that he's talking with. FIFA had also heard that he wanted to appear at the Royal Rumble this past January, January 2023. Now, it's unclear whether or not WB would have even been interested in the idea, nor whether AEW would have even entertained the idea of releasing Punk. Now, one of the rumored ideas that Fightful had heard but not confirmed, which was Punk would return at the 2023 WWE Royal Rumble in January to work the 30-man Royal Rumble match, supposedly as a surprise entry. Jesus, can you imagine that, Pop? And then the person who would eliminate him would then go on to have a match with Punk in the main event of WrestleMania 39 Night 1. And Kevin Owens' name was thrown around as that person. It's very, very interesting that this, this report just so happens to come out two days after CM Punk was released by AEW. And it also explains why in the blue hell Phil Brooks randomly showed up at a Monday Night Raw event in early 2023. I 1,000% believe this. Look, Punk likes money. We all like money. Punk loves wrestling. He just didn't get along with people in AEW because he is in the mindset that he can he can dish it out, but he cannot take it. And when they started firing back at old Phil, Phil couldn't handle it. And that was the downfall in AEW. He also had some really bad decision makings. But I 1,000% believe this report. Now, moving on, shifting gears, WB has a lot down its plans to return to Saudi Arabia for Crown Jewel because WB currently has a 10-year partnership with the Saudi General Sports Authority. And WB has paid big money to host two events in the country per year. And they've already held their first event, which was Night of Champions, earlier this year. You know, that event that featured Seth Rollins winning the World Heavyweight title and a tournament finals over AJ Styles, the bloodline going down to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Well, PW Insider reports that WB is slated to make a return to Saudi Arabia where they will host its Crown Jewel event from Riyadh on Saturday, November 4th. Now, historically speaking, Saudi Arabia shows have aired in the afternoon, and this show will likely be no different. So, to wrap up 2023, you have NXT No Mercy in Bakersfield on September 30th, Fastlane on October 7th from Indianapolis, the Saudi Arabia show on November 4th, and then they return to close out the year, barring any NXT additions, on November 25th, from Chicago for Survivor Series.